this is the bottom. So it's about, you know, it's, it's bra strap. You guys could probably hear that. But yeah, it's bra strap length, which I'm happy about. So yeah, I think I really, I definitely got my, um, my money's worth. Hello, okay, so I'm back. If you guys watched my last video, which I hope you guys did, um, I got my hair silk pressed and I showed the time lapse of the process of me getting my hair pressed. So I wanted to give you guys some like actual updates in a sit down video so I can talk to you guys about like my experience, how I feel about getting my hair straightened after for so long and just some stuff. So my hair actually, I just, bump the ends which is a which is my childhood horror story so I have my my childhood <laughs> not horror story but like you know when you used to get your hair done as a child and you get it straightened and somebody would be like okay girl it's time to bump those ends and you'd be like huh yeah but now now look at me I'm doing it on purpose so I'm gonna take these out as I talk there's like 10 of them in but like yeah I'm gonna take my rollers out as I talk so first, let's talk about my experience getting my hair straightened. First, let me say the the hairstylist, her name is Dominique, and I went to the Greg Alfonzi, Alfonso Salon, which is located on Long, in Long Island, New York. On Long Island, in Long Island? I don't know, whatever. They were great, she was great. I had a really good experience, no complaints. Um, how did the day start? So I walk in, I walk in, Dominique, you know, tells me, you know, come sit down in the chair, whatever. And she starts the, the shampoo process. So, I don't know if any anybody follows me on Twitter. Which, you probably don't. But if you do follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I'm trying to create my own um, DIY natural shampoo. Which is a learning process. So I'm doing a lot of trial and error. So I knew walking into the salon that my scalp was going to be rough. Because I knew it was rough. It was a little flaky when I walked into the salon. So she, as she shampooed my hair, she's like, "Girl, what, what shampoo do you use? Because your scalp is pretty bad. Like, um, like pro in terms of product buildup. Oh, in terms of product buildup and stuff like that. So like, I didn't explain. Like, I'm trying to make my own shampoo because I didn't feel like talking about it. But she recommended." some different shampoo brands so if anybody's interested she recommended pureology was a good brand she also said paul mitchell um she really just said like a lot of like the white hair product lines are good for like our hair texture so she recommended i look into some of those um which i did hurt here paul mitchell was good so maybe i might try them after you know i try to do this diy natural shampoo so that was the first step she shampoos my hair she lather rinses and repeats three times because my scalp was that bad apparently and um she then she puts in like a deep conditioner i sit with that in for like 30 minutes to go get some Popeyes to kill some time and then we come back and she um, so she detangled we come back she rinses out the deep conditioner I have notes over here, that's why I'm looking over here. She, mm, like in the previous video you can see she detangles, she detangles my hair twice actually. Once after shampooing and again, again after the deep conditioning. And then she split the sections after the deep conditioning detangle portion into sections for blow drying. So this process, her having somebody else come through my hair made me very nervous because like when you comb your own hair you have full control over you know how gentle you're being and you know just what's going on so not saying she was rough but like i it just makes me nervous i always do my own hair so like to have somebody else do my hair and detangle and just go to town and maybe a little bit nervous i'm not gonna lie but she did a good job so she split my hair into sections for blow drying she blew dry it actually really fast she she blew dry it very fast and then, you know, she went right into the, the flat iron. Oh, so she flat ironed, she did one pass through, and then she let me know, you know, my ends 
some of them are kind of dead which I knew because I I was gonna trim my hair before I went in like a, like a week or two before I went in but I was like you know what I'm just gonna leave it and just let the professionals trim at this time which I usually don't do but I was like you know let me just just do it so she did let me know my ends were a little bit dead after she went through the first pass so she did trim some off and you can see that in the video she trimmed the ends off and my hair like naturally kind of grows where the front is kind of shorter than the back so she cut some like layers in it and made it all even so after that she asked if i wanted to do because i guess a lot of people do the you know they curl at the ends and make it look all cute after they get a silk press i said no because i wanted i only got this done to see the length and the growth of my hair so i didn't want her to bump the ends and i also said no because the childhood and the child inside of me wanted to say no so many times when the hair salon lady was like okay bump the ends and my mom just co-signed for it and i just had to sit there and let her bump the ends so i did it for childhood me and i let i, let, I didn't let them bump the, bump the ends but left it straight because i want to see how long it was and then she asked me if i wanted my edges done i also said no to that because I don't I didn't want a lot of maintenance doing like to do to my hair after she straightened it because one I don't know how to take care of straight hair I haven't taken care of straight hair in years and two I don't like doing my edges every day like on a daily basis I really don't really do my edges and she did compliment me she was like why well, you have some nice full some full edges and I was like thank you and I think it's because I don't not saying like like doing your edges is bad but I think I really don't touch my edges so I think they just they're just thick they're just thick because I let them be I don't touch them yeah I do do my edges like if I do like slick 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 back styles like a bun or a ponytail that's about it and another thing that made me nervous while she was uh, flat ironing my hair like it just brought me back to when I used to get my hair done at like the Dominican hair salons and the heat on those blow dryers were insane. I don't think I've left, I don't think I've ever left a Dominican hair salon not in tears. And then when they're flat ironing, you know they gotta get the roots, but I swear in those old salons, they did not care, they straightened your scalp along with it. And like every time she would go to like, to get the roots, I would, I would be like a little ooh. But Dominique did a good job, I didn't get burned not once. So, and the roots are very straight. So, that was good. So Dominique, Dominique was really nice. She was really funny, you know, we were talking the whole time, you know, kiki and ha ha and kiki in and all that stuff. So she did recommend that I, I come in every three to four months to get a silk press or just get my hair pressed so I can get it professionally trimmed. I really don't see myself straightening my hair again for like another year or two, not because she did a bad job, but just because I just like my hair when it's curly. I just like my hair when it's curly. I like it when it's, well, I'll get into that after, but yeah. So I'm probably not gonna come in in the next two to four months. I'm gonna keep doing my, what I, how I trim my hair, which I have a video. I have a video on so I can I like that video how I curl my how I trim my ends while it's curly okay so that was the process that was the process the cost I think I paid in total well I was supposed to get a deep conditioning like steam treatment but the steamer was down the day that I went so kept it on like I still paid for it but she said the next time I come in it'll be a free service so which i do see myself going back there maybe for like another serve like a different service not a silk press anytime soon so like i paid for it so i can get it done but i didn't get it done that day so all together i think i paid about maybe 120 for everything the deep conditioning thing the trim and the silk press itself and plus i tipped on top of it so i think it was around there it was reasonable reasonable to me because I got a good quality of service. I liked the Dominique that did my hair and I just had a good experience. So like, I didn't mind paying that amount of money. Like I didn't really feel like it was too crazy. I didn't really feel like it was too crazy. So I'm happy with it. She also did tell me that my, the straight hair would probably last me maybe a good two or three good days. 
because my hair is not heat trained, AKA heat damaged. So my hair might wanna like revert back on its own. But honestly, my hair is held up pretty, pretty good. Like I just bumped the ends, but like when I just kept the ends straight, it was holding up fine. Like I was kind of surprised that it's lasted this long. Like I got two weeks out of it so far. So I'm happy I got way more than she thought I, way more days than I, she thought that I would get out of it. So yeah, I definitely got more than, way more than two or three days out of this style. So I have no complaints, no complaints really honestly about the service that I got, the services that I paid for, the just the overall experience, experience at the salon. So like I said before, Dominique's, um, Instagram, which has her booking website, will be linked in the description, blah, 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 description box, and I'll also leave the information for the salon because they have other services like nails, makeup, all that stuff. So, yeah, that was my experience getting my hair straightened. Aftercare. So, when I left the salon, I realized that I don't know how to care for straight hair. It's been five, six, Six, I don't know, years since my hair has been relaxed and I've worn it straight like this. I didn't know what to do and I also never knew how to wrap my hair. I never could wrap my hair. I mean, take my black card away, but I don't know how to wrap hair. So to sleep at night, what I would do, for at least the first week, I would split my hair in half, which I'm gonna, like it's hard for me to show because I just bumped my ends, but I'll, if it was completely straight for the first week. I'll split my hair in half, and then I'll brush it back on both sides, brush it back on both sides, and then cross it over in the back, like that, and then bring it around, flatten it down, which I'm not gonna do, because I just curled the end. Flatten it down, bobby pin it like this, and then put a scarf on top of it, and that would keep it straight for the most part, which I like this method better because it lays both sides of my hair flat, when I used to, like my aunt used to wrap my hair, when she used to wrap my hair, like one side would always be like lifted. So that's why I didn't like wrapping my hair because one side is getting brushed upwards, like this side is going up technically, and this side is going down. So when you unwrap it, like this side is kind of like, like raised a little bit, like I don't know. I didn't like it. So I do like my method of um, bumping, uh, wrapping it better. Just splitting it in half, crossing it over each other, Bobby pinning it down and then putting a scarf on top. And what I would also do is like after I put the scarf on and tie it tight, I would like fish out the bobby pins so I won't get any lines stuck in my in my hair, like imprinted in my hair when I wake up. I'm gonna try to find a YouTube video on how to wrap your hair like that and I'm gonna link it down below because it's kinda hard to explain without seeing. So I'll try to find a video for you guys so you guys can see that. That lasted, well I did that for a while. And so throughout the first week, well these are my thoughts on straight hair. After the first week or so, I think I was over it. I am over it. I'm tired of straight hair. I like straight hair like this. Be I like it because it's, it's low maintenance. Like I can just run a comb through it real quick or put in a little ponytail or a little bit, a little bun and call it a day. But like my scalp, like if you're like me and your scalp is really dry, especially in the winter, like I don't know what to do. Like my scalp is so itchy, but I don't wanna wash my hair because then it's going to revert back to its curly ways. So I'm gonna just sit like this and my hair is gonna be dry and start flaking and you can see the flakes even more because my hair is straight. So like, I'm really ready to stick my head in a bucket of water because I'm just a little over it. I'm just a little over it. But I do like how low maintenance it is. Like, I literally could just wake up and be like, okay, I didn't have time to do my hair last night, but I'm just gonna put it in the bun and call it a day. So that's good, I guess. But I'm tired of this hair. I'm tired of it, I bumped the ends because I'm tired of it and I'm just, I want it to go away. 
No, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep it. It's just my scalp is really itchy and really dry. And like, I, it's not like I could put like my usual curly products on it and moisturize my hair without reverting it. So like, I kind of just have to sit and deal with it. <sighs> this is week. <coughs> oh gosh. This is week two. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep my hair straight for week three or what I'm doing because at this point I'm tired, I'm tired. Like it's cute, like it's cute. And it kind of makes me want to get a wig like this, which I think I, it makes me want to get a wig like this and straighten it so I, I can still get that same feeling of straight hair without straightening my hair. But the prop, that's a whole nother thing. We're not gonna talk about wigs right now. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Oh, so in terms of aftercare as well, like showering and stuff, I didn't have any issues showering. Obviously, I couldn't, I hate the word obviously. I feel like it's so rude, sorry. So in terms of showering, I couldn't take like, you know, my long like, you know, showers with all the steam and da da da, -da because then, you know, you're, you'll get hot, you'll sweat and your hair will revert. So like, I still, could shower, but I just couldn't shower for that long. Like if I felt like I was in the shower for too long and I could feel my scalp senses tingling, like my revert senses tingling, I had to get out of the shower because yeah, I didn't pay this money for it to revert back on the second day. So yeah, I have to get out the shower. Um, I didn't go to the gym. I haven't gone to the gym only because, not because I was afraid of my hair reverting, but because I was busy with other things. So maybe I'll try to go to the gym this week if I have time. Cause you know your girl be working. I'm working. I ain't got no time for me. <laughs> yeah. So I be doing stuff. So I don't know. Um, my hair right now you can't tell. I said I was gonna include videos and pictures, but you know I didn't really take any pictures of my hair straight or videos. But my hair straighten right now is about like the top of bra strap bra strap length. So I wore a bra just for this occasion so we can see how long my hair is. So if I pull, let's see, if I pull like, a, like the back strand like this, pull it down to see where it is, I keep my head straight. This is where my bra is, like, oh gosh. So it lands like where the bottom of my bra strap is, right here. This is the top, this is the bottom. So it's about, you know, it's, it's bra strap. You guys could probably hear that. But yeah, it's bra strap length, which I'm happy about. Um, But like having my hair straight, <sighs> I don't know, maybe I thought I would enjoy it more, but like, I don't really, I just wanted to see if my hair was progressing because you know, when I first, when I was relaxed, my hair would pretty much like stop, well I would think it would stop growing like right, like maybe like right here, or like maybe like a little bit shorter. It would like stop almost like right there. I would feel like I would never get past that point. So I did this to see, you know, what progress my hair has made. And you know, it's made a lot of progress. Like I'm really, I don't wanna, yeah, I'm really happy. Like my hair has never been um, bra strap length, never. So we reached a new milestone. Um, if anybody has any questions, I mean, there's not. If anybody, I don't know. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me those questions, and I'll answer them. Um, I yeah, I probably won't be straightening my hair again in another. <sighs> Maybe like two, maybe like one or two years, honestly. I don't really see myself doing it again anytime soon. Um, shout out to Dominique. She was really nice. Like, y'all just go to Dominique. <laughs> go to Dominique. And she knows what she's talking about. So if you have hair questions while you're there, you know, ask her some questions. Anyway, so that's it. This is what my hair is looking like. Like, it's still moving. It's still, um, you know, it's got some movement. It's got some movement over the book. Uh, it's got movement. So yeah, I think I really, I definitely got my um my money's worth out of what I out of what I paid for. 
Cause it's, it's this is week two, we're about to go on week three. So look at us. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, if anybody has any questions, you know, about getting their hair straight, if anybody has any natural hair questions, if anybody, I just swallow, if any, if anybody has any questions in general, if anybody wants to tell me how their day is, just let me know in the comments and, um, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, mm, cause you know I'm getting thicker. Oh, <laughs> I was kidding. Anyway. Subscribe, comment, like, watch some other videos. If you have video suggestions, I would love that. Um, but thanks guys, that's all I gotta say. Bye.